Good morning to all my dear students. Hope you are safe and fine at home, right? So today we are going to learn about our new chapter that is physical education for CWS child with special, right? This is part two of this chapter. And this is chapter number four. We have chapter number four, child with special need part two, right? So now we have already done with this, uh, you know, the introduction of the chapter. Now we are going to learn about the concept. Concept of disability, right? So let us learn what is the concept of disability. So the first concept that we need to understand is disability. So disability is something which is an inability of a person when a person is not able to do a particular task. Right? So disability is a kind of disability is a kind of impairment, right? It's a kind of impairment that may be cognitive, it may be developmental, it may be intellectual, it may be mental, physical, sensory, or some combination of this, right? So disability is something, you know, where an individual is not able to do something, right? So let's say if someone has not done the leg of teeth, or let's say someone has you not know, have limbs. That is the upper body limbs, lower body limbs. Some of you must have seen people who uh, they do not possess any limbs, neither you know, neither the leg nor the hands. So these kinds of problems, these kinds of you know disabilities are really very painful and uh, you know to live a life that is uh, it's a big task. But if someone have power of persistence, if someone is passionate or dedicated to do a task or to achieve a goal then definitely the individual can do whatever he wants to achieve. Got it? So disability, exactly what is disability? It's a very important topic to understand. Disability is a kind of environment. It is a cognitive. Now when I talk about cognitive, cognitive means what? Cognitive is generally it is simple related with the point that is cognitive. Cognitive means it is related to the thinking process. Right? So what is cognitive? Cognitive it means a thinking part. It's a thinking part. Ideas. Okay? Next is development. Right? So development is memory resulting. It's memory resulting. Right? Intellectual. It means it is related how you interact, how you conduct of any way, anything, any task. Conduct of task. Conduct of work or task. What is mental? It is related to mind. Mental kind of uh, disabilities which is related to mind. Mood swing. Okay, feelings. When we talk about physical disability, it is impairment in the upper limb or lower limb, so impairment in the limbs. Right? Sensor. So, as you are aware about this, you know, the sense organs, we have five sense organs eyes, nose, ear, tongue, skin. Eyes gives us the sensation of vision, ears give us the sensation of hearing, tongue gives us the sensation of taste, the skin gives the sensation of feeling. So, here we understand this it gives you know, a sense, uh, sense this impairment in the sense of impairment in the sense of it. It also a combination of this, right? So, this disability is something which is, you know, the problem or the kind of, you know, this different types of problems which are related with the so, this disability is basically a kind of impairment that may be cognitive, it may be developmental, it may be intellectual, mental, physical or sensory. It may be some combination of this. A person, you know, uh, it affect the person's life activity. It may be present from birth or occur during a person's life, right? So this, uh, you know, disability can be occur due to the uh, any kind of genetic problems, or it can be occur due to any problem, right? So uh, according to World Health Organization, right, it's an umbrella term covering the impairments, activity limitations, 
and participation restrictiveness and impairment is a problem in the body function or structure and activity limitation is a difficulty to encounter by an individual to executing a task or action while participation is rex, rex, you know uh, restrictions were there right so here basically what i mean i mean that it's a problem when you know the experience uh, then a human will experience that there are a lot of problems in the life right so disability is uh, thus not just a health related problem it's a complex phenomena reflecting and interacting between features of a person body and features of the society where he or she lives disability is not only the health problem it's a complex phenomena got it next thing is disability is uh, any continuing condition that restricts everyday life activity got it students disability can affect the person's capacity to communicate interact with others you know some learn and get about independently disability can usually permanent but it may be sometime episodic due to accident or lot of problems right so uh, according to the world you know wa disability service act in 1993 it may be episodic it do not it may, you know usually it may be permanent but sometime it may be you know episodic due to accident or something so what we understand here it's a complex which kind of phenomena it's a complex it's a complex phenomena process okay so uh, it's a complex uh, phenomena so i hope you must have understood what is the meaning of this right so i hope you have understood what is the meaning of this disability right now let us come and understand what is the concept of disorder okay so what is this disorder this see the disorder that is made up of two things this it is matlab no order it means arrangement okay so something which is not arranged okay something which is not arranged it's called disorder got it so disorder is a mental problem it's a mental problem it's a mental illness it's a mental illness it is the state of mental confusion it's a state of mental confusion what is so what is this all about it's something which is not in arrangement in a not a proper way okay so it's a kind of mental problem it's a kind of mental illness illness it's a mental sickness it's a state of mental confusion which affects the function of body right so what it does it affects the function of the body organs body organs of an individual right so what is this disorder exactly disorder is a kind of mental illness okay it's a problem it's a illness which affects certain mind and body so what it did it affects someone mind and body there are various kinds of disorder like ocd adhd odd and there are so many things right so this uh, you know this disorder is a problem or a illness which affects someone's mind and body okay it's a state of mental confusion it you know mental or physical problems that interrupt the normal functioning right so i have already told you that this is the 
this arrangement or this order it means it's the it affects the it's you know the the function will be abnormal abnormal functioning of body organs so when ever there is a problem with the body organs the function of the body organs is affected that is the disorder got it so here we understand that disorder is not arrangement it's you know something which is abnormal so there is an abnormal function of the body it is a state of mental confusion it's a state of mental problem this is a mental sickness or mental illness it may be you know a uh, state of mental confusion that affects the function of the body organs it affects someone's mind as well as body right so here what we understood exactly it is the dearrangement okay or abnormality of the functioning or we can say it's a morbid physical or mental state people have a different kind of disorder right so the disorder like you know a specific kind of disorder such as psychiatric disorder it means uh, psychiatric it means mental issues okay so psychiatric disorders anxiety disorders personality disorders disorders are disturbance of function structure or both resulting from genetic or embryonic failure in the development from exogenic factor like poisoners trauma disease so here we understand that disorders are disturbance of function structure and it may lead to due to genetic or something right so when we talk about this disorder so disorder is the dearrangement arrangement okay it is maybe genetic okay right and sometime it may be embryonic failure okay embryonic failure got it so it's a dearrangement of the normal functioning of the organs of the body of the organs of an individual so here what we understood we understood the concept of physical uh, you know this uh, disability and disorder so now let's come we'll recapitulate what we have studied we had started with the disability so what is the disability it's a impairment okay it may be cognitive it means it's thinking related it may be developmental it means it's a memory resulting part right next thing is intellectual how you interact with the society what are your thought process how you have conduct right mental it means a mind or a task or a, you know the way you think next is physical it means the limb that is upper limb sometimes people's upper limb is not working sometimes lower limb is not working sometimes upper well as well as lower limbs are not working right so the problem related to the sense organ or the combination of any of this come under the category of disability inability of a person when we talk about disorder so disorder is a derangement right it's a abnormal function of the body and the mind okay it's it may be due to genetic problem or you know an organic problem problem and this situations lead to you know uh, just because of the poison or trauma or accident right or embryonic failure it's not something which is not in order it's a state of mental problem mental illness or sickness in simple but if i say it's a state of mental confusion that affects someone's body and mind but so this is the concept of disability and this is also the concept of disorder and this points to be you know noted in our mind is very important so that we can understand what exactly the disorders are and what exactly the disability is now we are going to learn about the types of disability right so basically when i talk about the types of disability there are various types of disabilities right which you know include the various physical terms some of them having mental impairments right that can hamper or reduce the person's ability to carry out the day to day activities these impairments can be termed as disability of a person to do his daily activities disability can be broken into number of sub categories right so uh, now what we are going to learn we are going to learn about the types of disability so basically what i think that disability can be termed into number of sub categories but 
basically we are lying for two, three types of disability. The first disability is physical or mobility, right? Physical or mobility. Physical impairment or mobility impairment. Physical or mobility impairment. Second is sensory impairment. Third one is or the third kind of impairment is cognitive. Cognitive impairment. Cognitive impairment is also called learning problems. Learning impairment. Learning impairment. Right? So now first let us learn the first. So basically, how many types of disabilities are there? There are basically three types of disabilities. Physical or mobility disabilities or impairment. Disability is also called impairment, right? And sensory impairment, cognitive impairment, right? So now let us understand this physical or you know or mobility uh, that is our disability, right? So when we talk about this, you know, this physical or mobility disability, we need to think a point in our mind. So let us learn this physical or mobility impairment, right? What is the first kind of uh, this impairment we have? We have our first kind of impairment is mobility or physical impairment, right? So what does it do? It uh, you know, affects the mobility. It affects the mobility of a person. Okay, it is related to you know uh, the person is not able to use not able to use upper limbs upper limbs right and lower limbs lower limbs extreme or manual extreme So a person who do not have any, let's, let's give me, draw me something. So let me like, boy, I hope all of you know about it. Okay, and this boy who do not have hands, and do not have legs. Right, so no legs. Not the upper limb, not the lower limb. So there are many different kinds of problems, right? So disability varies from person to person. Let's say this person having legs, lower limbs, right? But this person do not have upper limbs. Okay? So the person having the various kinds of problems, which we know in terms of uh, the use of uh, organs, that is the upper limb problem, that is the lower limb problem and so on so many things are there which we need to concern right so disability are of basically three types physical or mobility disorder sorry not the disorder it's a disability right so mobility or physical impairment sensory impairment and third one is cognitive okay so now let us understand what is this mobility or physical impairment so i want you to mark my words it affects the mobility of an individual that is the ability to use the upper and lower body or upper or lower limbs 
This is generally related to the musculoskeletal, circulatory, respiratory system, nervous system. Okay? This category of disability includes the person with various types of disability, right? So, this physical or mobility impair affect which kind of organs, right? So, it, you know, maybe, uh, what should I say, it's affect, you know, musculoskeletal. Musculoskeletal system, right? It may affect the circulatory, circulatory system, right? It may affect the respiratory, respiratory system. Okay, nervous system. Right? So these are some problems, these are some illness which uh, this kind of physical impairment lead to an individual. Right? So there are various things that we need to keep in mind when we were teaching, with, you know, this kind of students. So we'll have to think that this uh, the problem that is the physical impairment, so that uh, let's recapitulate uh, what is this mobility of physical impairment. It affects the mobility of a person, ability to use upper body and lower body. Got it? This is generally related to the musculoskeletal or a circulatory respiratory or a nervous system. Got it? This category, uh, you know, uh, this disability includes various types of physical disability like uh, upper body limbs, lower body limbs, manual dextrity, etc. I hope you got the concept till now. So, this uh, second type of development, that is the disability, right? So, the second type of disability is sensory impairment, right? What is sensory impairment? Sensory impairment is basically related with the sense organ. So, if you have any kind of your disability related to the sense organ, if there is a problem, if there is a illness in the, you know, uh, what I say is sense organ, so we have five sense organs uh, which gives senses us of feeling, sight, vision, you know. So see, let's understand. So I give the sensation of sight. Right? I am sensation and vision both are the same thing. Smell the most gave the sensation of smell, touch, skin gave the sensation of touch, taste. Some give the sensation of taste and hearing, right? Hearing means ear give the sensation of hearing, right? So any problem with the sense organ, any disability which is uh, abnormal functioning is related to the sense organ is come under the sensory impairment. For the sensory impairment people, language communication is the greatest challenge, right? So for this kind of people, communication is the greater chance. They usually, you know, they generally use this symbolic language so that they can conversate, they can express their views. And it's very, very really important to encourage them, to motivate them, to lead them so that they can also feel that they are also the part of society. They are also the same kind of people that God has made. Right? And very important thing, they have, you know, the sixth sense. They have, they are very intelligent, right? They have a good, uh, you know, kind of, what I say is quality if they have any kind of disability. So one should encourage them, one should motivate them so that they can also do something interactive. They can also lead a healthier and happier life. Now when I am talking about the types of sensory people or sensory people, right? Types of, as I already told you, there are a whole lot of soft and cognitive. So right now we have learned about this sensory impairment, right? So as I already told you that this uh, physical is of three uh, types, that is uh, polyprobic, overprobic, and metrotex, right? In the same way, the sensory impairment is of four types, right? The spinal cord injury, head injury, vision related problem, and very related problem, right? These are some types of sensory related problem. One, two. First is spinal cord injury, second is head injury, So this is about what I told you, this is totally about the sensory impairment, right? So
So sensory impairment it is basically something when there is a problem with the sense organ, right? So uh, this uh, sense sensory impairment uh, when uh, one of the senses is sight, hearing, smell, touch, taste, and partial awareness it's no longer normal. Communication is a greatest challenge for this kind of people. So definitely, the sight and the hearing person will explore the surrounding, but. A person with sensory impairment will need to encourage, we need to you know, explore and interact with the people. We should give you know, this, uh, this uh, kind of motivation to them so that they can lead a healthier and happier life. I am just going to give you an example of a great scientist Stephen Hawking who was having this spinal cord injury. So Hawking, he was considered as the greatest scientist of 20th century after Einstein. Hawking gave a Big Bang theory, he also gave black hole theory, right? And uh, his attention gives the world, okay? It's attract the world's attention. The professor of mathematics at the University of Cambridge with teaching a lot of disseminate trials, the computer supported system, a computer supported machine. And his physical illness could not stop him to research, doing research. So it's very important to think that uh, if you want to achieve something, nobody will stop you, right? So now let's come. We are going to learn about the kinds of sensory impairment. The first kind of sensory impairment is spinal cord disability, right? So this uh, spinal cord disability short we call it S C D I. Spinal cord injury or spinal cord disability, right? See, I have already told you in advance, well in advance that what is the spinal cord? The backbone which consists of a lot of vertebral columns and so many things, right? And there's a butterfly like structure, the signals come, the response is stimuli. You must have understood and you must have read this topic in grade 10. Okay? So in biology we have this uh, topic uh, control and coordination, right? So spinal cord disability. It's you know this spinal cord injury sometimes lead to a lifelong disability. It may be due to a severe accident. It may lead you to the lifelong uh, problem, a lifelong kind of uh, problem which may occur, right? The spine, so it, uh, you know, it's related to the spine, nerves, okay, or our backbone, right? Got it? So this is the problem. So spinal cord injury sometimes may lead to a lifelong disability, right? It's, you know, uh, the, the spine nerves are related to the back to okay? So, most uh, occur due to accident. So, this is spinal cord disability mostly occur due to accident, okay? So, it may be, you know, occur due to accident, it may be you know, severe, it, is, it may be mild, it may be severe, it may be moderate, right? So, it depends on that, it will be a long time or it will not be a long time. This injury may complete or incomplete. See, this injury sometimes be complete, sometimes be incomplete. So, if it is complete, then it is total loss of motor dysfunction. If the injury is incomplete, it means some partial kind of signals are going on, reaching, right? That is ANS, CNS, uh, automatic nervous system, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system. You must have read it till 10, right? So, uh, till 10, you should read it properly. Right? So let's come and understand. The injury may be complete or incomplete, right? So if the injury is complete, the message will not transfer, the signals will not transfer to the body, we can't respond to the stimuli. But the injury may be, uh, you know, if it is incomplete, then the brain should got or transferred, there is a transformation or it receives some kind of signals from the body. Transformation of signals were there. So complete injury result in total dysfunction. If the injury is incomplete, there is no uh, uh, sometimes the injury is incomplete, there will be so many things that is uh, what should I say it uh, spinal cord injury uh, may be from birth. So it is uh, sometimes it may be genetic or sometimes it may be not may not be a genetic condition. So uh, sometimes it uh, occurs after birth, right, the students? So let's understand what I'm exactly telling you. You mark my words. And I earlier told you that the Stephen Hawking uh, scientist who was uh, having this spinal cord disability. So basically this spinal cord injury, S, 
CI is uh, sometimes lead to a lifelong disability. This kind of injury is mostly occurred due to severe accident. Which kind of accident? It's basically or generally occurred due to the severe accident. Complete loss of messages conveyed by the spinal cord. And not if it is not complete, incomplete or completely lost. Whereas complete injury results in total dysfunction of sensory organs. Got it? In some cases, spinal cord disability may be from birth. Now we are going to learn about the head or brain injury. What we are going to learn about now? Now we are going to learn about head injury or brain injury. Both the same, right? So the disability of a head or brain due to brain injury. It's a kind of problem when there is accident. If accident is a problem with the brain, right? So brain injury or CSC is the brain of computer. So our brain is here all the signals on the functioning are and here only. So the magnitude of this injury depends on mild, moderate and severe. So if the injury is mild, the situation will be different. If the injury will be moderate or severe, the situation will be done accordingly or at accordingly. So let's talk about the types of as I earlier told you there are a lot of subtopics in disability. But as of now there are two types of disability of head injury. How many injuries are the army types of there are? So head injury are two types. ATI that is acquired brain injury and TBI that is traumatic brain injury, right? So acquired it means it is acquired from somewhere. It, is, it may be genetic. It may be it may, uh, it may not be genetic, right? It may after birth. So acquired brain injury in the form of ABI, acquired brain injury. Another one is TBI, traumatic brain injury. This performs a very important for both purposes. They may ask for your know the residual form. Not hereditary type, but it is uh, you know regeneration uh, after birth. There are some chromosomal problems, so it may happen, and it is also offered due to the external force or some embodied failure or some kind. This traumatic brain injury. It's related to a trauma. It's it's a Emotion kind of dysfunctioning, it's a behavioral imbalance. So emotions, you know, the hormones, these emotions play a very important role in our life, right? So one should keep in mind this all points that we, you know, we need to focus more and alert enough to understand the various kind of things, right? So this head injury, uh, it's a disability in the brain, occurred due to the brain injury. The magnitude of the brain injury can range from mild, severe, as I told you, right? Moderate and severe. There are basically two types of brain injury or head injury. Traumatic brain injury or acquired brain injury. Got it? So, if we talk about traumatic brain injury, uh, it's uh, related with the emotional dysfunctioning and behavioral disturbance, imbalance. If we talk about ABI, which is not a hereditary type, but it may degeneration occur after the birth. The cause of such kind of problems is due to the external force applied to the body or you know in case of uh, some kind of problems, accident, etc. Right? So I hope you understand this topic till now. Now let's make a flow chart and understand the concepts properly. What we have seen today. So we will start with this part, you know, this uh, disability disorder. Then we will start with these types of uh, disability. So disability, what we done, uh, we had understood there are three types of disability, right? Sensory, head, you know, various kind of disability. Now let's make a flow chart and understand the concepts properly. What we had started today because the congratulations Okay, so first we have started to understand this CWS and the top. There are two things we have learned. This ability, this ability, this order, right? So disability is an ability of a person, so impairment can be physical, sensory, and mental cognition. If you talk about disorder, so disorder is something which is a state of mental condition. Now let us learn about disabilities. So disability are basically of three types. First is physical, second is sensory, third is learning or cognitive. Right? If you talk about physical, so it may be due to upper 
बॉडी प्रॉब्लम अपर बॉडी लोअर बॉडी और मैनुअल एक्सट्राइट राइट इफ यू आर सेंसरी सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हेड इंजरी राइट और I just told you uh, that uh, you know our spinal cord injury, hearing, vision, so many things which is related to the sense of the brain. So SCI, spinal cord injury, head injury, vision problem, hearing problem. These are related to the sensory factors, right? If we talk about learning, so we have not covered this topic today, but let me tell you the types of sensory sensory. Next is uh, attitude of conduct. Next is the you know what should I say is uh, affective disorder. Affective disorder. So these are the different kinds of things that we have we need to understand. Okay, disorder are also so many kinds that is O D P A O D right. Like in ways that we can tell you clearly so that you can understand it in a more efficient. Let us uh, go and search on this topic that I am telling you. A D D, sorry, is A D H D O D D O C D S T D A D uh, okay, fine. A S D A S D. Now this A D H D is related with the attention that is hyperactivity disorder. This is obsessive compulsive. Uh, you know, it's, uh, this is oppositional deficit disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, sensory processing disorder, autism spectrum disorder. So these are the different types of disorder. So we had properly understood the various kinds of disability, the concept of disability, the concept of disorder. Got it? So what is disability? It is a kind of impairment. What are the types of disability? There are various types of disability like physical disability, sensory disability, or learning or cognitive disability. We have studied also the physical disability are of three types: upper, lower, and manual. If you talk about sensory disability, so head injury, uh, you know, uh, spinal cord injury, vision problem, hearing problem. The next that is the uh, learning or cognitive disability. So here we understood the affective disorder, right? Uh, mood swing. Attitude conduct, psychophenomena. Uh, if you talk about the head or brain injury, so there is a problem with the brain that is due to severe accident. Acquired brain injury uh, and traumatic brain injury. So if you talk about acquired brain injury, that is ABI, which is non, you know, it is not related to the heredity, but it is a degeneration after birth and due to external factors also. If you talk about the traumatic brain injury, it depends on the, you know the emotional dysfunctioning and behavior imbalance. I hope you must have understood each and every concept of the session. So with this, thanks a lot. Bye bye. Take care.